people always complain about the fact that they never make enough money, especially when you're 20 years old. Here's the answer. Work more. Like, don't have a five-day work week. Don't do vacations until you're richer than I am. Get up every day. Do lots of work every day. Always outreach. Always go further. Always test the walls. Then come back in. Retool. Make it more pliable. Be more flexible. And then go back out there in the marketplace. I mean, I literally don't carry a watch around. It's not about the time. It's about the work. No matter how much time it takes. When I first came to America, of course, I couldn't speak any English. And I went to see Pinocchio. I thought the music was great, and this little puppet boy, I immediately connected to him, this Pinocchio kid. All of a sudden, this little cricket, this Jiminy Cricket character, comes in like the Messiah and looks at the movie screen and starts singing, When You Wish Upon a Star. Your dreams come true. I thought he was singing to me. I thought, oh, shh. Gene, this is from me to you. And I could understand the words enough that it doesn't matter who you are, your dreams can come true. Because you want inspiration, look to your mother. You bet. Don't listen to the self-help gurus and the people stuff, even though I get paid a lot of money to do this stuff myself. <laughs> Turn around and look at your mom. That's the most inspiration. That's the reason you should go out there and strive. I remember the first $10 million check I ever made, and it came in at one lump $10 million check, and I gave it to my mother, and I said, Mom, look, because, you know, I want my mom to be really proud. And she said in her broken English, wait a minute, hold on a second. And she said in her broken English, uh, wonderful, because she, that's, you know, she's Hungarian. Wonderful. Tikanis. Kala. It's Greek. Uh, wonderful. Now what are you going to do? <laughs> That's precisely the point. Mm -hmm. You did well. Now go on. If you're the fastest human being on the face of the planet, when all the cameras leave and when the girls stop kissing you and you put the award away, are you going to get up the next morning when, when the sun is just coming up and all by yourself try to break your own record, even though you're the fastest on earth. The idea is, shouldn't life be about striving? There is no such a thing as winning. There's only doing better than you did before. Because once you give up, you're just waiting to die. I invented this baby. Whenever you go to any sports team, everything's going on. Anywhere around in Zimbabwe, they'll go like this, or they'll go like this, or they'll go like this, but they'll always stick their tongue out. And, and the story behind that is, in the early 70s, 1870s, of course, <laughs> uh, we noticed that the, that the fans and the audience, before they even know who we were, were going nuts, and they were sort of waving. And I was playing. Paul was too into himself, you know. <laughs> You know, look at my hairy chest, I'm so good looking. I was just trying to see which one I was going to mount that night. <laughs> the girls. And so I wanted to wave back, but I couldn't, see, because I had a pick in one hand and playing bass in the other. So I'd hold on to the pick and I'd wave, see, over here holding the pick and you go like that. And they started doing that back. And then I have a marketing company that, that is fast becoming the, the most famous one on planet Earth. And I mean that in the real way. We have uh, Gene Simmons Family Jewels, which is seen in 84 countries. We have a company called Simmons Abramson Marketing. And Simmons Abramson Marketing, I'm the Simmons of the Abramson. We don't have offices. We hardly have staff. We have one guy who works for us, and yet we move mountains. We are the worldwide branding marketing entity of the IndyCar series, including the Indy 500. I'm the genius who thought of the I am Indy campaign, because I love the way I feel when I get behind the wheel, I am Indy. The guy who co-wrote the song with me is a Canadian named Bag, who was signed to my Simmons Records label prior. And uh, we also handled Find.com, lots of big stuff. And we also handled Frank's Energy Drink, Frank Stronic's Energy Drink. And therein lies, and we also went to China on some real estate ventures. And KISS, of course, is celebrating its 35th anniversary, baby. Whenever I've trusted the instincts of other people, I lose. I discovered Van Halen. I knew this was going to be the biggest band in America at the time. 
I don't know why I knew that. I had no qualification. I had never discussed. It's the first band, other than the band I was in. I said, this is the band that's going to happen. I, I knew. I never created any cartoon shows. I knew nothing about it. But I knew that if I did a show called My Dad the Rock Star, from the point of view of a 12-year-old kid, I could sell that to Nickelodeon. It's been on four years in 200 countries around the world in any language you want to see. It's a big hit. I knew if our show was called Gene Simmons Family Jewels, people would watch it if I was myself, if I never hit any of it, because besides my stunning good looks, I'm fascinating. Mm. Money is the gauge. You're an athlete, here are the judges, you'll jump on your heel to do all this kind of stuff, and then when you're done, mm -hmm. judges hold up numbers. Well, it's not about numbers. Actually, it is. It's the gauge. It's, a, it's one gauge of how you do well in life. And it's a gauge for acceptance, in a sense. Well, it's a gauge for how the rest of them think you're doing, because mm -hmm. they're willing to give you their hard-earned money for what you do. George, mm -hmm. look at you. You're here. You're on television, you make a good salary, and the more people watch you, the more money they're going to give you. It's a gauge. Mm -hmm. And it also means that ultimately all of us, politicians, religious leaders, talk show hosts, rock stars, all work for you. You're the ones who determine how much money we make and whether you like us. Ultimately, we're all in the same business. So it, it, money is the numbers. It's the gauge. Now, of course I do it for money. You know, like, here's what I ask you, just hypothetically, and that is that when we look at the salt of the earth, the people who till the soil, and now that's the salt of the earth. These people go to work every day and pick up our garbage, and they build the highways, and they don't really like their jobs, but they do it for the salary at the end of the week. In other words, they only do it for the paycheck. Why is that any different than what I do? Like, why the idea that you have to love what you're doing, who said that? Who says you've got to love what you do? Isn't Here's what you've got to love. No, of course, but you're blessed. You're privileged. You can't just go to planet Earth. Okay, go and pick and love what you do. Who's going to build the highways? Who's going to pick up your garbage? Who's going to do that stuff? Who's going to build the cars that you drive? You know, the rivet, 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 10 million rivets. That's all that guy does. Mm -hmm. That's the salt. Of, those are the ethical, moral. That's the backbone. Most of the people on the face of the planet go to work at jobs they don't necessarily like. The reward is the check at the end of the week by the sweat of your brow in return for... I'm the salt of the earth. I do it for money, baby. That's why the Simmons Records label, I own the trademark. It's the money bag sign. I know on one hand, I'm nowhere near as good looking as I think I am, but because I'm delusional about it, I'm fearless. I can talk without hemming and hawing. I can look at you and I can walk in. I'll walk in with Brad Pitt. I don't care who the guy is, much better looking than I am. I f his girlfriend that night. It is that will, that strength that actually makes things happen. It's not whether or not you actually have the good. It starts with will. So in business, in, in social circles, in anything else, it's this kind of first you need people skills, language skills, and other than that, the will of a giant.